Bruh, things went 0 to 100 real quick in today's episode. Hey, what's up, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of Assassination Classroom episode 18. If you haven't watched the episode yet, I highly recommend you do so by following the link in the description below and coming back to this video when you're done. With that being said, let's head into the review. Alright, so a lot of stuff happened in today's episode. Like, it was insane. So, the most exciting thing about today's episode that I'm sure that we were all super pumped for was this assassination attempt on Coral Sensei that was set up to succeed. And evidently, it didn't, which was pretty sad because we saw all the preparation that the students put into this assassination attempt. And then we saw it come to flourishion and literally almost work if it wasn't for Koro Sensei having one more trick up his sleeve. And this time, it seems that this trick has come back to bite the students in the butt because out of nowhere, apparently there's someone else trying to kill Koro Sensei. And now, realistically, we've known that there's always been other people trying to kill Koro Sensei, like militaries, governments, and things of that nature. However, we thought that they all just said, you know what, let's let the students handle it. If they do it, they do it. But it seems like these other organizations had not given up and are willing to use Koro Sensei's biggest weakness against him, which as we learned a couple episodes back, uh, is the students themselves. Like that is Koro Sensei's biggest weakness because at the end of the day, Koro Sensei will sacrifice himself for any one of the students because he honestly cares about the students and their lives and if they will continue to succeed. And it looks like this random bad guy that has come out of nowhere knows this and poisoned or infected the students with this random virus that no one apparently has a cure for except this one guy. And one thing that this bad guy did not put into consideration and is definitely going to go bite this guy in the butt is the fact that he left some students available. Like... At first, his plan was that they're only supposed to send two students, and when they said it was Nagisa and the other green-haired student, I was like, yo, it's about to go down, Nagisa's gonna go on a covert special op mission, he's gonna go on his own and just completely wipe out these people, but they decided to take another path, which was all the students that weren't infected by this virus are going to go together as a unit to get the remedy to this virus and return it back to the students because of course they don't want to turn in Koro Sensei to this guy because Koro Sensei is their sensei, it's their teacher, like they actually really do care about him and we can see that even in this assassination attempt those emotions still came through or rather it was said that the snipers they were like the practice is really different from the real thing like when I was about to shoot Koro Sensei my heart started pounding my vision got narrow and they said they thought it was because of they didn't have practice but i'm willing to believe that the reason it was so hard for them to take that shot to kill koro sensei is because they actually care about koro sensei as well like he's the best teacher that they've ever had why would they want to kill him if it wasn't for the fact that he says himself he's going to destroy the world and he has a 10 billion bounty on his head which is pretty terrible if you ask me but all in all i thought this was a very good episode it really showed how far the students have come since the first day that they've been trying to assassinate koro sensei like this was the first time that anybody has been able to put koro sensei in his all defense form for 24 hours and that goes to say something because as we've known military has tried taking him down and all these other organizations and it was only the students that were able to make this card come out of his sleeve, which may not be the only card that Koro Sensei has in his sleeve, because Koro Sensei is literally just a bag of tricks, and 
I've been saying it since episode one. Like, this man is a monster. I don't think anybody's ever going to be able to kill him. Like, he's insanely strong, and it just seems like he's impenetrable. And even if these people that they're giving Koro Sensei to were able to kill him, which they're probably not because he's in this all-defense form, it is pretty dumb to think that they would really try that and put the students at risk the way they have. But all in all, I thought this was a great episode. It was really packed full of content. The animation for this episode as well was just amazing in comparison to other ones. Like every once in a while, the assassination classroom throws in just like a lot of budget into one impactful episode to make it look beautiful. And they really did that in this episode. But let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below, as well as let me know who your MVP for this episode is. Mine definitely has to be Ritsu. Like, on a level, in the background, Ritsu is always working super hard. Like, she prepared the um, attack on this hotel of the people that have the remedy for the antivirus because Koro Sensei told her to. She really helped in the assassination attempts with all of her, like, calculations and all this stuff. Like, honestly, Ritsu has been in the shadows for since the episode that she was introduced to. But in today's episode, she really came through and I can appreciate that. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.